it's going to happen someday that some scientist is finally going to perfect the male birth control pill if they haven't already and they're hiding it in a lab. It better. I mean, it, it, chances are it was a male scientist that figured it out and he buried it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing research on male birth control for years, not a joke, because I really actually want to try and take it. Wait, well, how is that going to help? I mean, it's going to help because I can come with blood, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I think we know what you're saying. Just do the dude version of it. Take steroids. That's the, basically you'd, it. You'd, theoretically, you would have to suppress a different type of hormone. Yeah, exactly. So it would be the opposite of what happens you to You just women. get super ragey and awesome and hair sprouts out everywhere. Yeah, would I get super ripped? Yeah. You get ripped. You get cool. You'd, say, you'd be cool all the time, like Matthew McConaughey cool. Your penis all the is time. really big, too. Yeah. This sounds great. If I know yeah. anything about genders, it's that women get everything shitty and guys get the awesome version well, of it. Well, because women are broken that have to be fixed, yeah. whereas men... <laughs> are perfect right out of the box. So birth control for men would be a pizza slice that makes you ripped, cool, yep. and awesome. Elise, yeah. would you would you trust a man that says, don't worry, baby, I'm on birth control? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> there needs to be some sort of side symptom that makes it obvious, like your penis glows blue. Oh, oh yeah, there right? would have to be some visible cool. physical Like something sign. changes. Okay, dudes shows. would just sell penis glowers that cost like half the price of birth control and guys would buy that and be like, don't worry, baby, my dick's glowing, we're good. And the bigger thing is like, you gotta take that pill every day. Oh, I already mm. forgot. Every single day? Every single day. Or else what? She gets pregnant and I leave? <laughs> oh, the stakes. <laughs> so hot. Dude, vasectomies are the coolest thing. I didn't know this. You still come when you have a vasectomy. Yeah, There's just yeah. no sperm in it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. It's the best of all worlds. You still get to shoot it in someone's eye and then walk mm. away. It's just like you're sneezing inside a hole. It doesn't sting as bad either. I'm getting turned it's off. It's the sperm that do the stinging. Oh, <laughs> is it really? Yeah, because they bite the skin. So, okay, so here's what we do. We have male birth control, vasectomy kit, home vasectomy kits, and then a little spray bottle of sperm just so you get that sting because you're going to miss it. Is this to emulate the fact that you came in someone's eye? Yeah. This is the best way to feel what it's like to be a woman, right, Elise? I zoned out a while ago. <laughs> I do not understand why everyone is so upset about Sonic the Hedgehog, the live action movie. We don't get to see, we didn't get to see him in the poster. We we don't know I want to see what he looks like. You saw enough. You saw those hairy gams. Why does he have buff arms and legs? And also, just, he has like really weird witch fingers. <laughs> we live in a world where Sonic and the Black Knight is an actual Sonic thing that exists. 